So you just got your device and you're wondering which preset protocol to use. In this video, I will be going over the preset protocols that come with your device, their unique settings, and their recommended uses. The first thing to cover would be what are the components to each protocol? Each protocol is comprised of three parts, the time, the pulse rate, and the intensity. Time is pretty self-explanatory, it's just how long the protocol will be running for. And the second is the pulse rate of light, or another word for this is the frequency of light. This refers to the rate the light flashes within a second. It's similar to clicking a flashlight. When you click a flashlight on and off quickly, that's like having a high pulse rate. And when you're clicking it on and off more slowly, that's similar to having a slower pulse rate. We measure it in units of cycles or waves per second, also known as Hertz. These pulse rates correspond to different brain waves, such as alpha, beta, and gamma, but we'll get into that later. It is what we refer to when we talk about the entrainment side of the device, because it is brain waves we are trying to integrate into your brain and change those brain waves based on what we know about your condition from research or your QEG results, also known as the duty cycle of light. This refers to the ratio of time a load or circuit is on compared to the total time of simulation. On our device, there are four options, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100. So for example, 25% intensity would mean that the light is on for 25% of the cycle. You'll notice that on the GLOW program, the intensity is 100% and that there is no pulse rate. It is not possible to have a pulse rate when the intensity is at 100% because there's no time in the cycle at which the circuit is off, so there's no pulse necessary. You'll notice with the preset protocols that the longer the time, the lower the intensity. If you want to change this, I can give you a hack on how to do that, so please stick around. Now to get to the protocols themselves. The first one you'll see on your home screen is called Peace. This protocol is nine minutes long with a pulse rate of 10 Hertz and 25% intensity, also seen as just one bar. 10 Hertz falls within the range of the brainwave called alpha. The alpha range falls between eight to 12 Hertz and your brain produces these waves when you're just feeling very relaxed and not focusing on anything too much, just a state of wakeful rest. Research shows in training alpha waves to be helpful with certain conditions and symptoms like anxiety, ADHD, traumatic brain injury, and sleep conditions. As a general rule of thumb, if you are or you are dealing with someone who is struggling with over arousal, that might look like anxiety, insomnia, fidgeting, anger, tenseness, feeling overwhelmed, then you might find this peace protocol beneficial. The next protocol you will see is called focus. This is a six minute protocol with a pulse rate of 40 Hertz and 50% intensity or two bars. 40 Hertz falls in the gamma range, which is anything upwards of 30 Hertz. Gamma waves are your fastest brain waves and are dominant when you're actively involved in processing information, learning, memory recall, and during problem solving. Research shows in training 40 Hertz using light has been helpful in reducing the buildup of tau and amyloid plaque in the brain, which as we know are often biomarkers for Alzheimer's disease. Most research shows 40 Hertz entrainment to be beneficial primarily for memory, so working memory, short-term memory, etc. I personally swear by the 40 Hertz protocol to help with my memory. I usually have what I call like troubles holding onto my thoughts. So when walking from here to the kitchen to write down bananas on the grocery list, I will often forget what I was going to write by the time that I get there. But I use a combination of glow and 40 Hertz um, and I have noticed that I'm able to hold onto my thoughts a lot better. One client with dementia who I was working with also had great success with this and her husband messaged me saying the following. She's much brighter in the evenings now, whereas before she was completely wiped out by 4 p.m. She has been cooking for the first time in several years and her memory is noticeably better. So far, so good. And on a call with him, he mentioned that many family members at Christmas noticed that she was just a lot more present and attentive. So I can't say enough good things about this protocol in terms of what it can do for your memory. As a rule of thumb, if you are or are dealing with someone with under arousal, which could maybe look like attention difficulties, cognition difficulties, or memory impairment, Alzheimer's disease, dementia, forgetfulness, or confusion, you might wanna give this protocol a try. The next protocol you will see is called Energize. This is a three minute protocol with a pulse rate of 20 Hertz and a 75% intensity or three bars. 
20 hertz falls in the beta range, which is between 12 and 30 hertz. Beta waves are dominant when you're awake and engaged with the world or with a task in front of you. It indicates a general state of alertness. Caffeine is known to increase the presence of beta, so when you train beta waves, you might feel a similar effect as you do with caffeine. Research shows that entraining mid-range beta is helpful with conditions like depression or symptoms like low energy motivation and just zoning in to complete a task and motor movement. So it could help anyone with those types of symptoms. One of our staff has a friend with depression who has been using the Energize protocol for about nine months now. And when she uses it, she describes it as a veil being lifted and notices that when she stops using it, she gets down once again. Others describe that when using it, they feel like they've just had a shot of espresso. Sometimes it's easy to get confused between how in training beta, like in Energize, can help versus in training gamma, like in focus, can help. While both beta and gamma waves are associated with states of heightened mental activity, beta waves are linked to active wakeful states and cognitive functions, while gamma waves are associated with more intense cognitive processing, perception, and the integration of information across different brain regions. The last protocol you'll see is called GLOW. This is a 10 minute protocol with no pulse rate, and it's just delivering a steady stream of 1070 nanometer light into your brain. This protocol is different from the rest, not only because it doesn't have a pulse rate, but it's also what I like to call the crowd pleaser protocol. Continuous wave stimulation, which means that there is no pulse rate, can be beneficial for anyone regardless of what you're looking to improve. And it's a great primer before you start an entrainment protocol to help with just reducing inflammation, help improve circulation and deliver just energy to your cells. We like to call it putting gas in the tank before we start fine tuning with an entrainment protocol. Although of course those entrainment protocols carry the benefit of light with them as well. So that covers all of our preset protocols, but you'll notice that below glow is a button that says custom program. This is a really useful tool that you can use to make those protocols just a little more personalized to you based on your own reactions. Light therapy has been shown to work using a biphasic dose response. So in simple terms, what that means is if you close your eyes and you picture yourself in a class you took on statistics or math or chemistry, you might remember talking about a bell curve. The biphasic dose response is very similar to this in the sense that on the left of your curve is where you're not getting optimal stimulation. The peak of your curve is where you're getting awesome results and then to the right of your curve is where you're getting overstimulated, which we will touch on those signs of overstimulation shortly. So for example, you might be using the say Energize protocol at three minutes, but not seeing any results. So you're on the left of the curve. However, if you did that same protocol, but at nine minutes, you might notice you get a headache or congested or suddenly fatigued, indicating you are likely on the right side of the curve. But when you try that protocol at six minutes, you'll notice that you are seeing great results. Your focus, your alert, and everything is going great. That's an indication that you may have reached your sweet spot. And the reason this custom program is so cool is because it gives you the opportunity to adjust those protocols to fit your needs. So if you tried using the peace protocol for a bit and are thinking, well, you know, I'm not really seeing any results, maybe you wanna up the intensity to 50% and try that. And if still nothing, you can bump it up to 75%. And if still no changes, again, you could bump up the time from nine minutes to 11 minutes and tweak it in that way. We recommend starting low and building your way up. We recommend starting once a day for three days, and then if there's no overstimulation reactions after three days, then you can move it up to twice a day. We also recommend not surpassing 30 minutes of stimulation per session. So in theory, you could go up to 30 minutes per session twice a day. Many people find their sweet spot before 30 minutes though. Now, like I mentioned, it's imperative to be aware of signs of overstimulation and adjust your protocol accordingly when encountering these. The six signs of overstimulation are dizziness, headaches, fatigue, irritability, agitation, congestion. These will usually happen either during the session or up to around two hours after. And these effects are A, very rare, but B, if they do happen, they're pretty transient and don't last long. That being said, if you do encounter any overstimulation, take the helmet off if it occurs while doing it and wait another day before trying again. When you try again, lower the time and or intensity significantly and then work your way up to find your sweet spot. 
And just remember that seeing any positive results from this device may not happen immediately. For some people, they feel something during the session. For others, it can take weeks to see progress. So don't get discouraged if you are not feeling anything immediately.